Hey guys, it's Ben and Amy from Result Based Training in South Melbourne. Today I just wanted to run you guys through a little bit of, uh, we're going to do some high intensity interval training and just show you, this is something you can add into your programming whenever we hit a bit of a fat loss plateau and one of us coaches might say, uh, it's time to do a little bit of extra cardiovascular work, get that metabolic go uh, rate going up. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do some stationary bike sprints with Amy. And basically what we're going to do is on the minute training. So every minute I'm going to get Amy to sprint as hard as she can whilst turning up uh, the resistance a little bit, so she's going to sprint against resistance for 15 seconds. But this is the kind of stuff you can only do for a certain amount of sprints. If anyone comes to me and says, Ben, I did high intensity interval training for the last for 45 minutes, that's not high intensity. Okay, so we might start off with about six to eight sprints. That's a total high intensity uh, volume of maybe what a minute and a half to two minutes. Okay, so I'm going to get ready. Amy, as you can see, she's pedaling along, so even when she's cooling down, she keeps the legs going, help flushing out the lactic acid and stuff that's building up. So, in three, two, one. Okay, Amy, sprint, all out. Let's go. Sprint, 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 let's go. That's three seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hard as you can, hard as you can. I want her failing come 15 seconds. That's seven seconds. Nine, ten, kick it up a gear. Find an extra 10%, find an extra 10%, and three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so now Amy takes 45 seconds where she's resting. So she turns down the resistance a little bit so she can move her legs a bit easier, but keeps the legs moving, keeps the legs moving. So this is the kind of conditioning that we can use. It's a shorter time frame. It really boosts your metabolic rate, so you'll use up a ton of your energy reserves. Uh, and not only helps you with your fitness, but definitely helps you with your body composition. It's really hard, guys. It sucks in terms of how hard it is, but in terms of changing your body uh, composition, this is the stuff that I much prefer clients to do. So we're coming up on 46, 47 seconds now, so it's about 10 seconds left until we go. Amy starts picking up the pace a little bit and getting ready to turn the resistance knob in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, Amy, round two, let's sprint, let's go. 15 seconds, sprint, 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 sprint. Come on, come on, keep it going, keep it going for me. That's five seconds. Find another gear, pick it up, let's go. Eight seconds to go. Five seconds, let's go. All you got, all you got. Three, two, one, and relax. And that's what we're going to do, guys. So let's start if you want. You can start how this would fit into your programming is we might do it once or twice a week. You can even do it as part of your warm-up if you like, particularly if it's an upper body day and so you're not uh, fatiguing your legs too much before jumping in before the programming. That's all for now, guys. Throw it in, see how you go, uh, and we'll see you next time.